heterosexual sex again after mga batang impulse and uh, ano ba yun eh, kasama nila yung Tony LaBruce ka, di ba? So, <laughs> so, mukhang atulong ka naman dito. Uh, Um, ano mo sa sagot uh, Ano, I'm happy doing different roles. I'm happy uh, doing challenging roles. Alam mo naman, siyempre kapag nagkaka-age na tayo sa industry, hindi ka naman pwede maging kapatid at yung tinip offer, the papil na pag-offer. And I think yung nag-track mo naman ako ng time yung kahit nung bata pa ako ng usap uh, ng character roles. And I'm just happy now and I'm just Uh, I feel honored and grateful and blessed for uh, Riga giving me the opportunity to be a lead. Yeah, uh, it's, really, yeah, it's my first time doing this and I guess parang lahat ng, lahat ng love scenes ko before, lahat ng daring scenes ko parang uh, nabigyan ng uh, ba, justification, justice ngayon. Ang sagot, kasi lahat ng pag-ihinap ko, uh, ito pala yung feeling na maging lead. Kumbaga, I'm just happy to be working with Rekla, with uh, Lovie, with Laura, and with everyone, with Mother especially, giving me this uh, opportunity, giving me a percent, direct mining everyone in Sarah Riga. I'm just so happy. Uh, Alam niya, kasi sa, sa panahon niya, ang hirap na ang mga artista. So, yes. everyone is parang lahat bida na. And, For me, so sorry na talaga ko sa industriya at mabigyan ako ng pagkatatong ito. It's just really an honor and I'm very grateful for everyone. And syempre for the press to be seeing this. Parang ano na ito eh, uh, ano ba, mas ko? <laughs> Kasi I'm just happy na binigyan na ako. And I'm here, you know, talking to each and every one of you. As a lead na hindi na ako. Well, it's about time na mabigyan ka ng story. Salamat po, dito mo. Thank you so much. So, my best wishes for your movie. I cannot wait to see it and the treatment of the right mark na ginawa nyo dun sa material. Uh, I hope it will be a blockbuster. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Mario. This is a question from Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Good afternoon. My name is Joseph Patelano from Quarry.net. My questions are for Mrs. Lovey Paul, Mr. Joe, and then Ms. Laura. Um, if you were to find yourself in a bad marriage, would you try to save it at all costs, or would you quickly file for annulment? Why? Let's start with the I would definitely try to save it. Um, um, of course, do my best to save the relationship. Um, I, I kept saying this earlier, but when we enter a relationship and when we commit ourselves to someone, um, no one really wants it to and badly. We actually want to work things out. So, that's a high in the pagnanaba. Pero, syempre, I mean, there are things that you can't fix. And if if you feel like there's, it's more of a no turning back situation, then I think you better be able to stop that again. Thank you. I have the same question for Mr. Joy. I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, I'm going to ask you a question for Mr. Joy. Actually, during the shoot, Uh, lagi namin pinag-uusapan na napakanungkot yung tinataka namin na parang at this moment yung ginagawa namin yung scenes pa kami dalawa ng couple na pinagdataan yung mga gantong kasi ng sen o mga gantong kasi ng situation sa buhay nyo na and uh, syempre may answer with me uh, syempre coming from a very conservative country like yeah, the Philippines uh, syempre ang, ang sagot natin dyan lagi is ipaglalaban natin na nangyong sa huli kung mga mga agas sa kabatayan pero Siyempre, sa panahon ng generation niya, nag-iiba na ang mga arguments, nag-iiba na yung mga tao, nag-iiba na yung values ng mga tao. And I guess, uh, siyempre, paglalaban natin. Eh, pero may mga things talaga na tama sa love and love na wala, hindi mo na ma-fix. At uh, at the same time, kapag pinilit nyo, baka mas lalo kayo masaktan, at mas lalo mawala yung uh, respeto niya para sa isa't isa. And I guess, doon na talaga uh, nag-i-end up na siguro talaga kinaka yung choice uh, to be adult and to be uh, separated. At uh, I think yun lang na kayo sinasabi din namin with the movies that after the annulment, hindi naman tapos ang buhay ng dalawa tao yun. I guess uh, yun yung gusto namin ipakita na may hope pa rin 
as an individual na hindi lang kung tungkol sa inyong dalawa yung buto or yung relationship I guess you really have to grow separately para mag-mature kayo yung dalawa and for you to fix or find yourself para maging okay kayo to each other in the future kung sa kami ng kita kayo Thank you. Thank you. Same question for Ms. Laura. Um, well, for me, po, I think this this movie, aside from entertaining you and aside from touching you, I think what it does also is it, it, it informs you. Because prior to, I guess, making this movie, I, I didn't know the extent of having an annulment. Like, we learned that to get an annulment, it's something like you have to claim that your spouse is mentally incapable, you have to claim that your spouse is an STD. So, sobrang lali po, ang hirap talaga, you make all these accusations. So, I think it just reminds everyone that before you get married, dapat sure ka sa tao, um, you really have to realize that you're making a lifelong commitment and a moment should be the last resort. Yeah. Thank you. My last question for the of you. Um, would you advise your loved ones, trap na bad marriage, to file for an element to be white? Yeah, for every loved ones who in a bad marriage, disruptive, it's bad for each other, would you advise them to seek an element and why? Um, I'll probably be the same as Trisha's um, character. Kung if I see that a relationship is disruptive, let's say abusive, um, and also, yeah, as long as you see like a really um, negative relationship, I would definitely um, not really advise, um, probably um, give her a, a good talk about uh, pros and cons of having or keeping a relationship. But yeah, because it's hard to see your loved ones go through something terrible about So, hindi na talaga may iwasan na bigyan um, ng advice na yung kaibigan mo o yung loved one mo na talagang kung hindi na tama yung nakikita mo, um, syempre, as a friend, posible na mabigyan ko rin siya ng ganong klase. Thank you. Same question for Joy. Um, for me, siguro, um, siya na magbibigyan ka advice na kumakaw uh, uh, sa'yo dito. Uh, for me, siguro na advice ko, si, uh, uh, ito, legal help or uh, professional sa mga kapagawa sa'yo when it comes to those kind of yung sobrang magigat na naman niya at mga abusive na kung uh, hindi na talaga mo work yung uh, relationship niya. And I guess, yeah, kung ako yun ako si Sandra, but sabi na kung gawin sa natin, uh, but anyway, as friends or as uh, loved ones, syempre sasamayin mo siya or dadamayin mo siya as uh, yung process na mangyayari sa kanya and mas permit kasi kung mayroon mas nakakaalam kung ano yung dapat gawin for the advices and for the anything that is going to help you with the consequent of the family. Thank you. Thank you, Joanne. Uh, Last question, same question for Ms. Laura. Um, but I guess I, I would say that annulment really should be a last resort. I would advise my friend to, know, to you know, try to talk it out first. Um, do whatever you can so that you don't get annulled. Because at the end of the day, you married each other for a reason. So if you can go back to that reason and find whatever's left for it, then sana. You know, things will be okay whether you live together, whether you're separate. Just the last resort way of knowing it. Thank you for answering the question. Thank you, Sir Joseph. Next talk. Sir Archie. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, congratulations to you for the movie. So, the question is, Ma, Ano? Dito sa Da-Analman, kaano kalagin ang pagkalagay na ginawa mo sa Analman? Tinlagay ba dito mga proseso at the same time yung legalities na yung grounds for seeking an act? Tinalagay siya na naayon sa estado ng dalawang characters ng pinipula. Ayon sa age range nila. Tapos sa point of view ng mga kailigan niya at ng mga magulang. 
Pero nasa age range. Kasi kung magpapaan ng 50 years old, ibang point of view nila. So, ang ganit yun sa perspective nila. Yes, the discuss ang proseso. Yes, the discuss ang may, may, may isang courtroom scene. Pero lahat yun serves as a background sa kung sino sila bilang tao. Kasi nag-uugat yan sa sino si Gary bilang si Gary at si Sherwin. What brought them together? And bakit yung tama yung sinabi ni Lore? Bumalik kayo doon sa dahilan kung bakit kayo una nagpangasal. Bumalik sila eh. Pero yung dahilan na yun, natabunan na ng mga pag-iba ng pananaw nila sa buhay seven years after. Yun ang may isang linya si Gary dito. Sabi ni Gary, uh, akala ko na plato ang buhay ko. Sabi niya, uh, na plato ang buhay ko. I focused on my studies. I graduated with honors. Uh, Learned a job na sa field na passionate ako. Pero nakalimutan ko planuhin ang pagkakasawa. Kasi na-inlove ako at nalulot ako sa feeling. Masarap kasi ma-inlove. Nakalimutan niya planuhin. Ang, pag, ang, ang nakalimutan nila na ang relationship eh hindi lang tungkol sa nararamdaman mo. Yun ang nasa sentro, pero maraming pang iba. Ang ibang mga tao, ang paplano nila, ang ibang aspeto ng buhay nila, nakala nila kontrolado nila. Ang nakalimutan nila, ang sabihin ni Gary yung karakter niya, ang nakalimutan niya, hindi lang siya. Dalawa sila. At hindi pwedeng umakasa ka na magpabago. Hindi ka magpapakasal dahil umakasa ka may magpabago. Magpapakasal ka dahil gusto mo yung nakikita mo at tanda ka. At ang ending na gano'n. So hangg hanggang sa ganong klaseng pagtalaka, yes. Uh, yung, 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 yung proseso ng analogy, oh, tinalakay siya kasi pakagay siya ng kwento eh. Pero hindi yun ang focus. Ang focus ay hindi tungkol sa legalidad. Ang focus ay hindi, eh, tungkol sa dalawang individuals na nailang at ano nang nangyayari sa kanila while going through an analogy process. Kasi yung buong pelikula is about nangyayari sa kanila habang may analogy. 